Help from the military and civilian agencies are coming together for one common cause. They want to end veteran homelessness. It's part of First Lady Michelle Obama's Joining Forces Initiative. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown joins us live from Orange County. And Gail, it's going to take a village yeah. to do this right. Absolutely, it is. And embracing the challenge is a regional effort to end veterans' homelessness. Supporters have got an aggressive timetable to do it. The goal is to try to see that every homeless veteran in Central Florida have a home of their own by January of 2016. Business leaders, nonprofits, the veterans community, and even the faith based organizations are working towards that common goal. Today's community forum, headed by Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs and Orange County and Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer, acknowledge it's the least we can do to help veterans who've given so much to their country and their community. Well, I think the numbers don't lie. We have housed over 1,200 uh, homeless veterans in the six county region and over 800 in just Orange, Osceola, and Seminole alone. So we've proven that there's a need, but that we have the willpower and the resources to help veterans get off the streets. And, and we're so excited that we're going to keep this work going. Only 44 people that we have been able to identify that are either living on the streets or in the woods. Um, the rest of them, about 250, are in shelter. So 44. To be able to identify those folks and encourage them to come in if they want the housing, and most people do, um, we, we should be able to close that gap. Now, those numbers Mayor Jacobs are talking about are from a tri county area, Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties. Nearly 50. Thousand American veterans are said to be homeless across the country. The majority of funding to help these veterans is going to come from the Veterans Administration, and that is about $20,000 per person per year. Live in Orange County, I'm Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.